fistful of food down the goose's throat. Don't want to hear about it, Matthew. I wonder how it feels, having a fistful of food shoved down your throat. You want to find out there's still some of that casserole left. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you didn't have the frog's legs. I don't want to hear about the frog's legs. You know how they remove them? I don't want to hear about them. Well, if you don't want to hear about the frog's legs... I don't. Sorry I mentioned the frog's legs. <laughs> What do you have for the main course? The salmon. <laughs> Wonderful fish. Yes. An aristocrat amongst the denizens of the deep. Is it really? Wonderful colours. Mm. Green, silver, blue. A myriad of light in the water. I suppose it is. Primordial. Mm. It was on this earth before we were. Mm. And mysterious. It spends seven years out there in the deep. No one knows where. And then it returns, guided by some primeval instinct to the place of its birth. What an adventure story. Homer could have written it. 3,000 miles through torrents and shallows, leaping weirs and waterfalls 12 foot high, upwards and onwards until they fulfil their destiny. Well, apart from the one that ended up on your plate, of course. <laughs> Matthew. Well, what a destiny. After all that, to be eaten by some glutton in a restaurant. Right. That's it. I've had enough. One more word out of you. What about peaceful persuasion? I've had enough peaceful persuasion. If you want to convince me, convince me by growing tall and straight and looking the picture of health. I would like to point out, you've just had a wholesome supper on 20 cigarettes. <laughs> you look sallow, your eyes are dull, your hair's lifeless. You look worse than that casserole. <laughs> you need building up. You need a good steak and kidney pie. Shut up, Dad. Tripe and onion. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> Devil kidneys and sweet bread. You're making me feel ill. <laughs> Well, you respect my views and I'll respect yours. Otherwise, I'll personally show you how they remove frogs' legs. If that's how you feel. But this is going to drive me back into militancy. No, if you want militancy, you can have it. I think I'll go and wash my hair. And I don't want to hear another word about vegetarianism. Right. You haven't seen my multi-herb shampoo, have you? Yeah! <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> oh. I suppose you're wondering why I'm wearing a mask, Enid. No. If you want to go out in a mask, it's nothing to do with me. I don't think it's any way to make friends, but that's your affair. <laughs> Is it a rash? No. I was on a mission. A mission? I can't say any more. The less you know, the better. Anyway, you'll probably read about it in the papers. Papers? You haven't seen me, Enid. into your socks. Why? They're perfectly capable of running up the trouser leg. Well, that's an old wives' tale. Please, Mr. Willows, I wouldn't want you to suffer any injury on my account. That's well, all right. But they're probably more frightened of us than we are of them. They're not more frightened than I am. <laughs> I hate mice. <laughs> I understand where they've come from. I can. Matthew brought them home in what? that box. What? That means he's taken them from the college lab. They could be infected. <gasps> Make for the door, Enid. Fetch next door's cat. I'll cover you. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Going for a bike ride? What? You've got your trousers in your socks. We 
you've got mice in there. You took them from the college lab, didn't you? I had to. They were being used for experiments. I knew it. They're infected. No, psychological tests. They were going neurotic. Neurotic? You mean we've got neurotic mice in the lounge? <laughs> Rogue mice? That means they'll be twice as strong and twice as cunning. You better get in there before they start to breed. They won't breed. Well, you've heard the phrase, breed like mice. That's rabbits. You haven't got any rabbits, have you? No. Get in there and put them back in the box. No trouble. All you've got to do is talk to them. They're tame. Well, they were until you went for them with that poker. <laughs> oh. It's all right, Image. He's in there talking to them. Thinks he's Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> I just don't think I can take any more, Mr. Willows. Neither can I. I'll make you a cup of tea. You look very pale, Enid. I know. I'd put on a little rouge, but Matthew makes such a fuss. Why? He objects to cosmetics because they're tested on animals. He's giving me an approved list. <laughs> you mean he wants you to boycott brands that use animals in testing? Yes. We've got him in it. Oh, He's I played see. right into my hands. Yes, the trap is set and ready to spring. All I need is the bait. You find them all? Yep. You sure? I've counted them out and I've counted them back. They're all accounted for. <laughs> you know what Enid's like. I don't want one of them popping up behind the radio during the morning service. How is she? She's twitching more than they are. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. Well, don't blow smoke all over them. <laughs> Enid tells me you don't approve of her uh, using cosmetics. Well, only cosmetics used in animal testing. What, you mean they force rabbits to wear lipstick and face powder? <laughs> well, sort of. <sighs> That's disgusting. What? Yes, I can understand your feelings there, Matthew. You can? Yes. I mean, if God had wanted women to look like that, he'd have given them purple lips and green eyelids. <laughs> Same as if he'd meant us to smoke, he'd have given us an aperture for a flu brush. <laughs> we'll get you some pamphlets. <laughs> what? Talking of smoking, do they still test tobacco on animals? Yeah. Oh, scandalous. It is. Yes. I suppose you made your protest. Yeah. I stood outside the factory in a bunny outfit. <laughs> Well, I've written letters. Threatening to give it up? Give up what? Smoking. Well, not exactly. You mean you enjoy it too much? No. I see. You want Enid to give up wearing cosmetics, you want me to give up meat, but you won't give up smoking. Seems to me you want us to make all the sacrifices. I've given up meat. Well, you never liked meat. <laughs> Probably do without makeup at a pinch. <laughs> So stop preaching to me, because the day you give up smoking is the day I'll give up meat. You will? Yes. All right, that's my last cigarette. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, well, when, when I said I'll give up meat, I didn't mean straight away. Oh, I left to empty the freezer. What's the matter, Dad? No willpower. me, weren't you? Well, I, I, I was feeling peckish, so I came down for a natural yoghurt. <laughs> all right, all right, so I weakened. I'm not perfect. I never said I was perfect. We don't live in a perfect world. I'm sorry, but I was brought up on bread and dripping, and I can't change now. I've been dreaming about that pork pie all night. <laughs> well, say something. Well, Dad, I can't... <coughs> You've cheated. So have you. I've only just cheated. So have I. Well, that does it. What are you going to do? 
I'm going to take this up to bed with me, and when it's thawed, I'm going to sink my teeth. <laughs> sleep very well. I was hungry. Oh, didn't you have any supper? Yes, yes, I had something cold. <laughs> very cold. Would you like me to boil you an egg? No. Oh, I'd like sausage, bacon, kidney, if you've got it, and two eggs, all on a fried slice. <laughs> and I don't care what Anyone thinks. Foo glorious. Foo glorious. Foo hard. Do you mind, Matthew? I'm in the bath. It's all right, Dad. I won't sink your boat. What do you want? For my oatmeal soap. Hurry up. Oh, smell that, Matthew. Mm. Sausage is turning to a beautiful golden brown. Yeah. Oh, that's the bacon hitting the hot fat. Oh, suck. <laughs> I think I can detect kidneys. <laughs> food glorious food. <laughs> food glorious food. <laughs> <laughs>